The level 3 and 4 regritter and subsetter, also known as L34RS or LEARS, is a tool to subset and remap Earth observing satellite data provided by the Goddard Earth Sciences Data and Information Services Center, the GES DISC. The L34RS team includes dedicated scientists and engineers, as shown in this slide. It's popular in the scientific community, and there are about 400,000 daily visits. Why do we need to subset? Subsetting allows users to select only the data of interest to them. It saves considerable processing time and storage space. For example, for modern era retrospective analysis for research and applications, Mera 2 data products, it could save 95% of the disk space volume compared to the full data set volume. Why do we need to regrid? Regridding allows users to compare data from different missions, i.e. different grid resolutions. L34RS now provides seven different interpolation methods and 33 different grids. We are supporting numerous data sets and hundreds of data variables, such as those shown here. Data formats are varied, including NetCDF, HDF5, HDF EOS2, EOS5, GRIB, GeoTIFF, and Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF. The last GeoTIFF outputs are recently added to the system. Users can do temporal subsetting, spatial subsetting, level subsetting, and variable subsetting. In the meantime, Users also have an option to regrid the output. At the end, there are also different output file formats to choose. For this GLDAS data product, users can choose from GeoTIFF, Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF, and NetCDF, which is the default option. GeoTIFF format is becoming more and more popular and can be ingested by web services or GIS tools. Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF is cloud computing friendly. Its data chunk can be retrieved directly without downloading or reading the full file. This slide shows the GeoTIFF file created by L34RS. This QR code will lead you to an online tutorial of L34RS. Thanks for watching this presentation.